Hello and welcome, I'm your Code McKee, and here's some pretty huge news that I did not expect at all. Unity has just published a blog post where they announced they are completely cancelling the runtime fee. So that's a fee that would be per install or per copy sold, that is now completely gone. When they announced it last year, originally it was that 20 cents per install thing, with no exceptions for demos, reinstalls or anything. Then the huge backlash happened and they reworked a ton of things. They made sure it did not apply to charity games or bundles. They clarified what counts as an install. In the case of premium games, that really just means sales. Then for the sales numbers, those would be developer reported, and it would have a max cap of 2.5%. They made all those changes, which were due to go live with Unity 6 later this year, and now all of that is gone completely. However, thankfully, they are keeping the two positive changes. You can now get rid of the splash screen even on the free version, and the revenue limit on the free version, that one is still going up from 100k to 200k. So thankfully these two changes are remaining, meaning more people can use Unity completely for free, which is always great. So this whole saga that blew up last year seems to have finally come to an end. No runtime fee at all in any Unity version, just the standard per seat license as always. They mentioned on the blog post on how they spoke with lots of developers, and since the goal is to democratize game development, they can't really pursue that mission in conflict with developers. It must be a partnership based on trust. After that whole thing last year, lots of devs got really angry with Unity for suddenly changing the terms, and many of them switched engines from Unity onto Godot or Unreal. The latest GMTK game jam that just happened, that one has some stats that show Unity going down and Godot going up. At the same time, since last year, Unity has gone through a ton of changes. They're calling it a company reset. In the beginning of this year, they had a bunch of layoffs and closed a bunch of locations. Then in the comments, some people mentioned how trust can only be rebuilt with management changes. And since last year, a bunch of executives either left or were fired. Same thing for their CEO, John Riccatello, again, either quit or was fired. Then they appointed the new interim CEO, Jim Whitehurst. He was there for a few months. And recently they appointed a new permanent CEO. The earnings calls for this past year were talking all about that company reset and getting back to growth and finally making a profit. In case you don't know, Unity has been around for almost 20 years and has never really made a profit. They have also sold off a bunch of pieces of the company that were not directly related to game dev, things like Weta Digital, and it appears now they are finally a bit more stable. The devs they spoke to also apparently understand that price increases are necessary for Unity to continue surviving for a long time. Personally, I certainly do hope that they stick around for many, many years. The engine itself is still an excellent tool. So instead of that very complex runtime fee, now they're announcing standard price increases for Unity Pro and Enterprise. So Pro, this one is for devs making over 200k, and Enterprise is for devs making over 25 million. So yeah, essentially, instead of the whole complicated runtime fee thing, instead of that, they're keeping it super simple, just the per seat license model as always, and just increasing the prices for the non-free versions. And they once again mentioned another change they made in the last update, of letting you stay on the terms of the version you're using. And they also reinstated the GitHub for tracking the TOS changes. So this whole thing, this massive change of cancelling the runtime fee, along with the entire reset for this whole year, that appears to be the new CEO trying to change things around completely, trying to completely raise this huge mistake that they did. So now the question is, will it work? Will all the people who feel that Unity betrayed their trust, will those people come back now that the runtime fee is gone completely? Or was that a step too far and nothing can really change their mind? I'm very curious to see what will happen, what is the response to this whole thing. Like I said in my last video on this whole saga, the way I personally deal with this is by analyzing the new terms and just deciding if it's worth continuing to use Unity. And in my particular use case, since my games will never get anywhere close to the thresholds of selling a million copies and making a million dollars, because of that, my decision at the time was that nothing was really changing for me, the fee would have never applied to me to the games I made. And also for me, the trust issue was never really a concern. I never really thought about either trusting or not trusting Unity for these past 10 years. I really just see it as a tool for helping me make games and nothing else. But throughout this whole saga, I've learned that many other people feel very differently. For them, the trust issue was worth so much more than the actual fee amount. So if you're one of the devs like that, or one of the devs that would be hit by the actual thresholds, if so, then I'm very curious to hear if rolling this back completely is enough to get you back. I'm guessing for a bunch of people, the trust has been completely broken beyond repair, but maybe for some people, this complete 180 will bring them back. Now, if you want one positive takeaway from all of this, then I would say there's actually two. So, number one is Unity did something and completely blew up in their faces. So, this experience will likely mean they won't try something like this ever again. They will likely look for and actually listen to more feedback, both internally and from developers using Unity. They will listen to all of that before making any future massive changes. And more importantly, it's actually number two, which is how nowadays developers are really spoiled for choice. Pretty much every engine is excellent nowadays. You can make awesome games with Unity, Unreal, Godot, Game Maker, really anything. And all the engines also have free versions. So because all the engines are really excellent and free, that means that Unity does need to do some really good work to have a really good engine and good terms in order to make people actively want to choose them. 
for me when I started game dev over 10 years ago, back then Unity was really the only option. Unreal was paid, and Godot I don't think even existed back then. So when I started 10 years ago, Unity won by default. But nowadays there are tons of valid options. If I was starting nowadays, I'm not sure what engine I would pick. So I would say that is really the positive takeaway from all of this. Nowadays Unity cannot rely on being the default choice. There are tons of options, tons of really awesome options, so they have to work very hard to be a great engine that people actively want to use. They just published this blog post and their Unite conference is next week, so in there they will be talking about all the benefits of Unity 6 and how it's an awesome engine. That should be fun, and without the cloud of the runtime fee hanging over everything, hopefully the mood will be very positive. I will actually be there in person myself, so if you see me randomly walking around, come ahead and say hi. Alright, so do let me know your comments, what's your thoughts on this news, does this change anything for you or not at all? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time!